Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here checking into the energy, right? Seeing what's going on around you. Anyway, this reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? You guys know the drill. You're pros at this now. Um, and thank you everyone for all of your support, for real. The, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, you guys, the confirmations. Um, everybody new here, welcome. Everybody's just been so good to me out here. Thank you for that. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Messages for my gorgeous collective. Ooh, oof. Oh, oh, and I can feel it too. Yeah, I felt it as soon as I started pulling the cards for you guys. Um, there is somebody who's very obsessed, okay? They do not want to let you go. Um, they may even, uh, and I feel like they want, the, they want a second chance with you, but they may be jealous here because you're having this new beginning. This could be a big opportunity. It could be a whole lot of money. You could have recently made some kind of big um, purchase, okay? But I feel like they're jealous about your money. They can't stop thinking about it. Um, yeah, I could feel that as soon as I as soon as I started, you guys. It's coming in really strong. This person in Four of Pentacles, um, they could be they could have been very selfish with you in the past, okay? Not helping you or not. Um, they could have held back their love, their finances. They held back a lot from you, okay? Maybe you were in a time of struggle when you were with this person and they didn't care. They didn't do anything to help you. Now this person could be nearly broke. With four of pentacles, this is like looking through the backseat of the car for loose change kind of broke, okay? So they don't have a lot of money right now. And all I'm seeing is I'm seeing the devil on one, hand, one end um, kind of fuming and upset and possibly jealous over your money. And I'm seeing on this end somebody giving you the finger. Okay? So I feel like in the past, this person, um, they did not give a crap if you were struggling. Okay, um, when if you were in a relationship with this person, because this this could be um, this could be about work. It could be friends, family, exes. Take it how it resonates with you. They held everything back from you. They didn't want to share anything. This was somebody very selfish and didn't really care if you were hurting. You know what I mean? And now they're seeing you. I feel getting all of this abundance. And they're really upset because they don't have much, okay? Yeah, I feel like in the past, this person, you were stressed out. And this person just watched. They didn't want to help you. They didn't want to do, you know, they kind of treated you like nothing. They really did. I feel like you, you were having nightmares. You were stressing. You were scared. How am I going to make it? I feel like this is something that has to do about money. Okay, and now this person is thinking to themselves, now you're getting all of this abundance, yep. Yeah? Now that you're getting all of this abundance, you're strong. I've got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. I feel like that's your energy. This could be them wanting to control you, wanting to come in and, and control what you've got going on. Um, you're very successful. I feel like uh, you were in a time of struggle at one point. You know, before this, two shakes before this is the seven of pentacles, the most underestimated person in the deck. The one who is working, toiling, right, nonstop to try to build something for herself. And people think she's never going to have anything to offer. And I feel like this person could have said a lot of nasty things about you because you were in a time of struggle, financial struggle at the time. They could have said that you had too dirty of a job. They could have said that you'll never make any kind of money. They could have said that your job was worthless or your creative idea was worthless. I feel like this person said a lot of harsh, nasty things to you um, in a time of vulnerability and, um, and hardship, okay? Um, while they were selfish, they held back. They didn't want to share anything with you. They didn't really care. 
that you were suffering, okay? Scared, worried, and now though all of your hard work, it's paid off. Your creative idea that they may have made fun of in the past, guess what? It's successful now. I feel like you're, you're single here, so you've broken free from this person in your past. And ever since you did, you've been on a, on a glow up, okay? You've been rising in stability and strength and confidence. You've transformed your whole life here. You've transformed your looks. You know, they may have, they may have made you feel so self-conscious self-conscious and so bad about your situation like they could have made you like intentionally made you feel like crap over it okay but i'm telling you the problem was never with you collective it wasn't because deep down inside you even at the time you had an empress just waiting to pop out okay you had an empress in you the whole time this person didn't see it and they didn't want you to know it either you know they wanted to keep you down or make you feel bad um yeah and now they're seeing you getting all this money you could be in the ten of pentacles energy of with the ace and the nine this is you very abundant growing you're going to be growing an empire for yourself I feel like once you broke free from this person, you were able to focus on yourself, um, work on your confidence, right? Your self-esteem, because this person, I, I feel like they really got in your head and they wanted you to believe that you were nothing. While they thought that they were better than you and they didn't want to share, um, they didn't want to help you. They just kept making you feel worse and worse about your situation. And now you're able to focus on, um, on your rise, you know. And they're jealous. They're upset. They're upset about you working on yourself, collective. How dare you, right? Yeah, they're seeing things from a new perspective now. Now they're seeing that, well, uh, I guess the collective um, always had it in them to win in the first place. I guess the collective um, was destined to be successful after all. You know, you're building something very stable for yourself, too. And now this person, they want to get back together, but they're still walking around jealous and envious. Here they come with, um, with a, an, an apology. But I feel like we don't know what's in that cup, okay? Every time I see the Page of Cups, this is an apology and everything, and this is them telling you how they feel. But they're coming to you as a page, and a page isn't really serious, okay? But here's, here's the thing. One of the reasons why they're jealous of you glowing, yeah, you're an empress, huh? For all to see, okay? Um, and if you had started... A, a, a project using your intuition, they can see that you were spot on correct about everything. This person could even be um, getting tarot card readings. But one of the reasons why, why they're so burdened, um, why they're carrying these ten of wands, is because they don't have hardly any money left. You know, this, this is somebody who once thought they were better than you, collective, and they wanted to drill that into your head. Okay, they did. They wanted to like um, convince you that you were nothing, never going to be anything, never going to amount to anything while they like they could have held money over your head. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it was like. And if you didn't, if you didn't have enough each month or whatever, if you didn't make enough money, you weren't good enough and they weren't going to help you. Whoever this is, it, and I, I'm telling you, it could be anybody in your life, okay? They can't control you anymore that way. They can't, they can no longer make you believe that you're nothing when you're standing as an empress, okay? And an empress in the minor arcana. They're also very burdened because they know once you left this person behind and got out of their life, right? Um, you, you started doing better. They're seeing that the problem is with them. 
and not you. You could be a Taurus. You could be an Aries. Cancer. Pisces. Um, you could be a Scorpio. You could be in the public eye doing something. It's bringing you a lot of success. Um, listening to your intuition. You could be another tarot card reader out here. Yeah, look, it's put you in the Queen of Pentacles throne, the Empress throne, the Empress in the Minor Arcana. <laughs> oh, and it's solid. It's here to stay. They know where it is that you're going to be able to take this in the future. You go from a pre-Empress to an Empress, okay? They can see your future unfolding, and it's looking good. Some of you could have possibly... Um, purchased a new home recently okay you so you're upgrading you're leveling up you go from the nine of swords energy when you were with this person you were like this nine of swords stressed out worried scared no one to help you because they certainly weren't going to um feeling bad about yourself to an empress okay <laughs> And the, and the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. So this person, I feel like they're about to come forward and apologize to you. They're in a lot of regret. You know, well, here's the thing. They're not in regret over how they treated you. They're in regret because they lost somebody. Um, they misjudged you. They mishandled you. They mistreated you. They made you think poorly of yourself. And you ended up being probably the most abundant person that they'll ever meet in their lifetime. Okay? And they didn't see that one coming. They're in regret because they missed out on all of the abundance that you created. And they're jealous, they're envious over, over that. Um, at one point, they may have even thought that as you grew in your abundance and success, they may have even thought that they helped, they helped get you that success. You know, but they didn't. They didn't help you at all. Like, not at all. Not mentally, emotionally, financially. They didn't support you. All they did was put you down. You know, that's all that they've done. And then they turn their back on you. There's your soulmate connection right there. They just turned their back on you and they kept it turned. Now this person is praying for another chance. Okay? They don't want to lose an opportunity at all of your abundance that you worked so hard for. They know that they missed out on a beautiful future because had they believed in you and not treated you like you were nothing they could have possibly had the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups with you because this person knows that you were really all about love had they this to me is like the ace of the cups right the ace of cups is right there they had they were given a blessing when you walked into their life they had your love. Maybe at the time that's all you had to offer this person. But had they believed in that and believed in you, they could have had ultimate wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. You would have remained at their side because I feel like you, even though they treated you like you were nothing, you were loyal and dedicated to this person. You could have been in a marriage together. Okay. Okay. You could have been dealing with a Virgo. I've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy Virgo, um, Capricorn, Pisces, heavy Pisces as well. Yeah, they could have had it all with you. Somebody who um, they could have worked together with. But I don't think this person wanted to work with you at all. I think they really just wanted to hold money over your head and make you think that you were less than. And they, they could get, be getting readings on you, tarot readings, right? And the tarot reader is telling them this exact same stuff. They're watching you. You could um, have your own platform. And I feel like they're watching you cut them out of your life because this is how they saw you. 
this is how they wanted you to feel about yourself for the rest of your life, that you were in the Seven of Pentacles energy. Let's take another look at it. You're coming out actually right now. You're in the Nine of Pentacles energy and the Empress. Very successful, very abundant. But when you were with this person, this was your struggle. You know, you were in a vulnerable spot, especially financially, okay? You could have had a dirty job. They saw you as a peasant who would always have an empty basket. And I feel like they told other people this because there's other people just standing here staring at you and just watching you struggle. And this person didn't care to help. As a matter of fact, they said it's your problem. They may have given you the finger. They could have told you all kinds of nasty comments, um, cut downs, insults. Yep, and because of that, you're cutting them out. They're, they're seeing this. They're seeing this. They're watching you, okay? They're jealous. They're angry. But I feel like that's their karma, you know? Now they could be in a time of financial struggle, right? Yeah, boy, are they watching you. You could be attracting a lot of attention to yourself with whatever it is that you're doing. Um, whatever you're posting online, you could, you could possibly even have your own platform. Yeah, now they're wanting to change their mind. They're wanting to come back in. Um, this is when all these people from your past that have betrayed you, this is when they all want to start coming back in. Okay? But you're moving on. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle. You've been betrayed. You know it. You know the truth. You see everything clearly. You see now that, it, that they were the ones who were the problem here. They are seeing this clearly as well. Okay, and you're moving on, closing out the cycle. This is also being in the public eye. Very balanced. They can see this. You're over them. And you're leaving them behind. Okay, in your dust. You've got all of these opportunities around you, all of this money around you. You could be making a house move, location change. You could be on the internet. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, you're glowing, okay? <laughs> you're looking really fantastic. And they're watching all of this. They've watched your transformation. Yeah, they want to come back in. But I feel like um, you're going in a separate direction, and I don't feel like this person can come with you wherever it is that you're going. You know, you have grown. They have not. And th there's such a big difference in the energy level, okay? Yeah, you're out here in the public eye having a victory. There could even be new love coming in your life. So, yeah, and I feel like you keep succeeding. You know, and I, I thought about this last night. One of the reasons why you're succeeding is because this person can't stop thinking about you. They're watching your success. They're seeing you on a glow up. They're seeing you level up in your life, right, and elevate, okay? Maybe even very quickly, within a couple years maybe, okay? And the more they obsess, the more they watch, the more they can't stop thinking about your money, that's bringing in more abundance for you. They're manifesting more success for you because they can't stop thinking about it. Okay? The things, that we, the things you think about, your thoughts become reality. You guys can look it up. It's called the Law of Attraction. I didn't just think it up sitting here. It's been, that information's been out there for you um, for a long, long time. So you can Google the Law of Attraction, and it'll tell you in there somewhere, I'm sure, your thoughts will become a reality. That's called manifesting, and that's what this person has been doing for you. You know, um, they think about you every day. They're watching you on a glow up. 
they're jealous and envious about your money. I'm telling you, this person can't stop thinking about how abundant you've become. And because they can't stop thinking about it, they're manifesting more of that for you. Okay? And this is coming to an end. This is the closing of a cycle. Yeah, you're in this earth angel energy. Um, very balanced. Very much over them. And I'm telling you, they're having a really hard time with this. Okay, with the five of wands. They're um, in a lot of uh, emotional and mental turmoil over this. Okay, it's very chaotic in their life. And here your life is peaceful, balanced, whatever success you've got, you've worked really hard for, but you made it look easy. You know, I, I feel like you've had a glow up here very quickly. So you're living a peaceful life now without this person. And now they're carrying the burdens of their life and how they treated you and their financial issues. And they're realizing that all they've caused you is chaos. They're realizing that the problem is with them and not with you. Yeah, you're in star energy here, earth angel energy. You're, you could very well be a light worker. You could have your own platform, definitely in the public eye. You're easy to spot. You're in the spotlight somehow. People are loving what you're doing. The universe is loving what you're doing. Okay? And you've healed from this person. They're seeing all of this. Soulmate connection here. Yeah, look. I'm getting the sense that this person may even try to make you jealous. Just to get your attention. Okay? I gotta say... Um, yeah, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity here. They're feeling like a fool. Um, yeah, they're feeling like a complete and utter fool now. I'm, I'm really feeling like they're going to try to come up with some kind of plan to make you jealous enough to talk to them, but I don't think it's going to work. Okay, I feel like you know this person and the games that they play, and you may even be expecting something like this, Okay from this person yeah I don't think that they're through yet with this connection okay they they um they want to take some kind of uh, this is like to me it's taking action but it's a foolish action okay it's a risk that they're taking but they feel like they have to do something they have to take some kind of risk because they, they, it's it may be the only way to get your attention and they don't want to miss out on this and everything that you've created. So yeah, um, this person, they may even try to post something online or something. They're going to try to make you jealous. They're going to try to play a little game with you. Okay. They're going to be acting like a fool, maybe. Yeah, but you know what? That door is closed. If they're trying to make you jealous and they're telling you that they're entertaining other options, guess what? You're going to, you're going to shut the door in their face. It's not going to make you jealous. It's going to end the cycle completely. It's going to be the end. That will be final. I'm also seeing for you that um, you have maybe more wealth. I feel like you're headed to, in a life of fortune. Okay, maybe even fame and fortune. Okay, and it's a time of celebration for you. Yeah, they're getting their karma. You're getting their justice. Any future plan they have of trying to make you jealous or start some kind of chaos and drama in your life, they're going to be getting a tower moment. Okay, Yeah, they're going to be getting their karma for this. This is just a, a little plan that they have um, to try to get back in. But you know what? No more games. The people can't continue to keep playing games with Earth Angels out here. They're toying with the Earth Angel and the light workers, and they can't keep doing that. I feel like you, you should remain focused. Just stay in your lane. Stand your ground. 
okay? Remain focused on what it is that you're doing. I feel like this person is getting ready to communicate with you. Okay, so here it comes. And the divine wants you to just remain strong, right? Because they're going to build some kind of illusion here. Sorry, collective, my battery died. Yeah, they're going to give you some kind of illusion. They're going to try to make you play a little game. They're going to try to make you jealous. So get ready for this communication. Okay, you guys. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be a Sagittarius, um, heavy Libra. You could be an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. Your person could be a Virgo. I, I just feel like this is a big illusion, okay? Ooh, they have to do something, right, to try to get you to pay attention to them. Uh-uh. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you like this vibe. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.